Hello students, welcome to my channel. So, today we are going to discussing about that one more important concept from the South Kills. So, yeah, let us see. So, let us take a South Kill S equals to 0. Okay. Yes, for this point, yes, South Kill S is equals to 0. I am going to take that a line which is called secant. What is the meaning of a secant? A line which cuts the circle at two distinct points A and B. The line is called the secant of a circle. Right? And suppose if the secant of a circle B is passing through the point x1, y1, yes, what is the condition? The secant which is passing through the point x1, y1, then what is the result? So, I am going to prove this one. P A into P B is equals to S11. Very important result. Okay, next. What is P A and what is P B? They are the distances, algebraic distances from the point P. Their product is S11. I am going to prove this one. Yes, let us see. Yes, come on. So, let us take the distance is R. Okay. And this line making an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis. Now, by using our parametric equations, did you remember that one? Parametric equations. Okay. What is the point A? Can I say the point A is? Okay x1 plus r cos theta and y1 plus r sin theta. Right or not? That is the point A. And the point A lies on the circle. So, what is our circle is S is equal to 0. General form is which is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. The point A lies on the circle. Yes, come on. Substitute here. So, which is x1 plus r cos theta whole square, yes, plus y1 plus r sin theta whole square, yes, plus 2g x1, 2g into x coordinate is x1 plus r cos theta plus 2f into y1 plus r sin theta plus c equals to 0. Yes, please observe this one. Here these terms, expanding this one r square cos square theta, r square sin square theta. Can I write r square? And here these terms are these terms. Okay. Yes, 2x1 r cos theta, 2y1 r sin theta, 2g r cos theta, 2f r sin theta. That means r into one expression. And what is the remaining term? Then the remaining term is x1 square, right or not? Plus y1 square here y1 square and this term is plus 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c equals to 0 right what do you say this constant is okay in the from the last video we discussed this one this is notation is the s11 yes so finally in this step what you got so it is a quadratic equation in terms of r right or not then for this quadratic equation i am going to find the product of the roots r1 into r2 in terms of our second degree equation, the roots are R1 and R2. Now, I am going to find the product of the roots. Yes, product of the roots, constant by coefficient of R square. So, what is this constant is the totally this value is S11. Am I right or not? S11 by R square coefficient is 1. Yes, what is R1 and R2? Algebraic distances R1 means which is PA, R2 means PB. Why? Because we assume that this one PA is the R. It has two values PA and PB. So, which is P A into P B is equal to S1. That is the result. Very important result. Yes, from this one, I can say one more thing. So, for this circle, S is equal to 0. From the exterior point P, X1, Y1, I am going to draw that two secants, okay, which intersect the circle at two points. P A B is a secant, P C D is another secant. According to this, what can you say? So, here you can write P A into P B is equals to P C into P D. Okay. So, very important results in the objective point of view. Okay, students, come on, make a note. So, we will move to that next concept. Yeah. So, the next concept is equation of a chord. So, for the circle S is equals to 0, for the circle S is equals to 0, a, B are any two points on the circle, then the line joining of any two points on the circle is called uh, a chord. Then what is the equation of a chord for the circle? S is equal to 0 is the S1 plus S2 is S12. 
what do you say it is s1 plus s2 is s12 okay yes so based on that one that is the equation of a chord now based on that concept i am going to explain that very important concept so that is the tangent to a circle what is the condition for a line is a tangent to the circle what is the equation of a tangent to the circle how to find that one okay yes so let us see yes tangent to a circle tangent to a circle s is equals to 0 <coughs> yes come on first of all let us take the circle s is equals to 0 right then for the circle what do you say this line is the secant right or not it is the secant which intersect the circle at two points p and q right and it is a secant now the limiting position of a secant of a circle so when that limiting position i am going to find the point q is moving am i right or not the point q is moving along the circumference of a circle and which reaches to the point p okay now the point q is moving like this right or not the point q is moving like this okay not yet that particular case yet this particular case okay yet this case particularly yes what happened here the point q is moving along the circumference of a circle and reaches to the point p in that case what is the limiting position now can I write like this limit okay limit q tends to p when q is approaches to p what is the limiting position of the secant of a circle is nothing but tangent can i write like this right or not when q is approaches to p yes then in that case the secant becomes tangent then what do you say in this case particularly you can say this one this is called tangent to a circle right or not so this is the definition of a tangent so what is the definition of a tangent which touches the circle at only one point then the line is called a tangent to a circle and the p is called what do you say the p is called point of contact right or not which is called point of contact right now what is the equation of a tangent what is the equation of a tangent let us see this one okay just now we discussed this one equation of a chord is what is the equation of a chord s1 plus s2 is s12 right or not now the second point is p the point p is x1 y1 the point q is x2 y2 now what is happening here the point q is approaches to p right or not now there are no two points there is only one point now can i write like this the same thing is s1 plus s1 is s11 can you accept this one or not the second point is moving and it is reaches to the point p then it becomes a tangent now i am going to finding the equation of a tangent this is the equation of a tangent right or not so s1 plus s1 is 2s1 this is 2s1 is equals to s11 is 0 am i right or not how can you say s11 is 0 the point p lies on the circle the position of a point p lies on the circle then what do you say s11 is 0 so 2 times of s11 is 0 then s1 is equals to 0 this is the formula to find the equation of a tangent at the given point p okay that's very important thing of course we can prove that by using the derivative concept also so the circle s is equals 0 circle is a differentiating at the point p finding the slope and processing that okay so by following that point slow form we will get that same equation s1 is equal to what is s1 actually this is x x1 plus y y1 plus g of x plus x1 plus f of y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0 is the equation of the so tangent to a circle at the point p what is the point p is the x1 y1 okay not and the point p is called point of contact okay this is the basic thing for that tangent to a circle equation of a tangent to a circle okay students very very important thing okay come on students make a note yeah next let us see so what is the equation of a tangent to the circle 
एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू आर स्क्वायर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ ए सर्किल हुज सेंटर इज जीरो जीरो एंड हुज रेडियस इज आर ओके सो फॉर दिस वन व्हाट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ टैंजेंट ऑफ द सर्किल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू जीरो एट द पॉइंट पी एक्स वन वाई वन ओके नट यस जस्ट वी गॉट द फॉर्मुला फॉर दिस वन इक्वेशन ऑफ ए टैंजेंट इज सो दिस इज एस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो equation of a tangent is s1 is equals to 0 come on so what is s1 for this equation it is x x1 plus y y1 plus g of there is no g term so there is no f terms okay and the constant is equals to r square x x1 plus y y1 equals to r square okay yes come on what is the basic formula for the equation of a tangent for the any form so it may be in standard form it may be in general form of a circle is the basic thing is the s1 is equals to 0 okay yes now coming to that one more concept for this normal what do you say it is normal what is the equation of a normal yes so come on just just observe this circle so let s is equals to 0 be a circle Yes, S equals to 0 be a circle and at the point P, at the, okay, C is the center of the circle, at the point P, so P is any point, at the point P, I am going to take this one, okay, this is the point P. So now what do you say, this line is the tangent equation, okay, so which touches the circle at only one point, this is called equation of a tangent, of course, P is called the point of contact. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the P is called point of context. Now, I am going to draw one more line. Okay, the line, the line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of context. Please, observe this one. The line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of context. Okay, not. So, here this will be the perpendicular to the point of context perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact of course and according to that the property of a uh, circles line which is perpendicular to the tangent it must be passing through the center of the circle am i right or not okay yes now this line is called normal so what you say the definition of a normal is the a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact okay is called a normal to a circle and particular what is the property of this one is the which must be passing through the center of a circle then this line is called normal line okay yes and uh, and whenever we are going to finding that equation of a normal at the point p simply find out this one equation of a line which is passing through that the two points what are the two points are one point is the point of contact and other one is the center of a circle Okay, not yes, like this we can find this one. Okay, yes, and in this case, one more simple concept. Okay, yes, they may ask the questions are like this. Suppose if the line Lx plus my plus n is equals to 0, yes, is the normal to the circle S is equals to 0. What is the condition? Right or not? If the line is normal to the circle, S is equal to 0, what will be the condition? Yes, if it is a normal, what is the property of a normal? which is passing through the center of a circle am i right or not that means this line must be passes through what is the center of a circle s is equals to 0 minus g and minus f come on so i can write l into minus g plus m of minus f plus n equals to 0 which is n is equals to lg plus m f okay yes so this is about the normal to a circle okay yes come on so whenever we are going to finding the normal at the point p it is enough to find the equation of a line which is passing through the center of a circle and the point of contact okay not yes come on so we will move to that one more important concept okay students come on make a note yeah so the next two thing is the very important thing what is the position of a line with respect to a circle yes so let us take a line L equals to 0 and a circle S equals to 0. Okay. So, what about the position of a line with respect to a circle? Yes, now I am going to draw this one very clearly. Okay. So, this is the circle S is equals to 0. This will be the line 
AL equals to 0. Yes, come on, please observe this, so the, the diagrams. Yes, this is S equals to 0 and one more possibility is the S equals to 0 and the line L equals to 0. Come on, once observe this one. So, these three are the positions of a line with respect to the circle. In that case, what are the conditions? Come on, here this one, observe this one. So, C be the center of the circle, right? So, C be the center of the circle. <coughs> yes, and what do you say this one is the? What do you say? Cp is the. So, Cp is the perpendicular distance from the center of a circle to the line. What is the Cp? Perpendicular distance from the center of a circle to the line. Okay, this is a Cp and Cp. Okay, not. And what do you say? This part is, can you say this one is the radius, center to the line joining of distance to that circle. Okay, so which is radius and here it is radius and here it is the radius. Okay, this part is the radius and this is a small d. Okay, and this is a small d. Okay, this part is the d. Yes, come on. What do you observe this one from all the three cases? Okay, here the distance d is greater than r or r is less than d. Can you say this one? So, if r is less than d, what is the position of a line with respect to a circle? If radius is less than the perpendicular distance from the center of a circle to the line, if r is less than d, then you can say clearly the line is present exterior to the circle. Am I right or not? And in that case, if the radius is equal to perpendicular distance, if the radius is equal to the perpendicular distance, then what do you say? The line touches the circle at the point P. Then what do you say? This line is the tangent to a circle. Am I right or not? Now we got that. So the new concepts. The condition for that a line is a tangent to the circle is the r equals to d, which is the radius of a circle is equals to perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to that given line. Then you can say the line is a tangent to the circle. Right or not? Yes. And in that case, in that case here, what do you say? R is greater than d radius is greater than in that case the line is a secant to a circle okay net. so that's about the position of a point with respect to circle you will get the three possibilities right or not in that case so please observe this case is the when you can say the a line is a tangent to a circle when you can say it touches the circle at one point that means the radius of a circle is equal to the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line then you can say a line is a tangent to the circle. So, very very important thing for this. Okay, not? Yes, come on. Then we will discuss uh, some more concepts. Yes. So, let us discuss uh, that very important thing. Condition for a tangent. Let I am going to take a line y equals to mx plus c is any line. Okay. So, is a tangent. So, to the circle x square plus y square equals to r square that means whose center is 0 0 and the radius is r so what is the condition okay so the line y is equals mx plus c is a tangent just now i discussed this one so for the circle so this is x square plus y square equals to r square so center is 0 0 and the radius is r and y equals mx plus which touches the line so this line touches y is equals to mx plus c okay let us suppose let us take the point p yeah in that case just now we discuss what is the condition for that it is a tangent so here the radius is equals to the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line so it is your radius and at the same time it is a perpendicular distance r is equals to d come on what is your radius so radius is equals to r which is equal to perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line. Yes. So, modulus of constant, modulus of constant, why? Because ax1 plus b1 zeros by square root of uh, m square plus 1. Okay, not. Then, so in that case, what do you say? c is equals to, c is equals to, yeah, modulus of c equals to r into square root of m square plus 1. Then, c is equals to r square of uh, 
m square plus 1 this will be the condition for that c square equals to r square of m square plus 1. Yes. So, what is your basic condition? First of all, just I use that condition if any line is at and suppose here I have taken that y is equal to mx plus c is at line. So, whatever it is not only in this form generally the line is the lx plus my plus n is equal to 0. Okay. So, in that case they may ask that like this 2x plus 3y plus k equals to 0 right is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square is equals to 25. Okay, not. In that case, so what is the value of k? If it is a tangent, simply you are going to use the condition. Yes, radius is equal to, yes, what is radius? 5, right? And radius is equal to perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line. Yes, which is modulus of k. So, y because center is 0, 0. Modulus of k by root of a square plus b square. It is 4 plus 9 root 13. Then k is equal to plus or minus 5 root 13, like this. So, please observe this for conditions when you are going to say this is a tangent radius is equal to perpendicular distance and sometimes they may ask that yes find that the point of contact also find the point of contact. So, yes please observe this one how to find the point of contact yes this point of contact is the foot of the perpendicular right or not. So, foot of the perpendicular so from the center of the circle yes whatever it is the center for the circle okay to the line l is equals to 0 like this i think you know how to find that the foot of the perpendicular from the class 11 we know this one like this we may get that point of contact also yes please observe this one what are the conditions how to find the equation of a tangent if one line is a given how to check this one whether it is a tangent or not please find out the difference between those two Finding the equation of a tangent, basic formula S1 is equal to 0, that is okay. Now, I am discussing is when one line is given, we do not know that may be a tangent or not. You have to find out, check out whether it is a tangent or not by using this condition. Okay, If it is a tangent, to find out the point of contact also, I mean foot of the perpendicular, you should find. Okay, So, very important concept. Students, come on, make a note and practice the, some problems based on this concept, whether it is a tangent or not. Okay, yes, yeah. So, the next important concept is length of cord. Okay, yes, for the given circle, S is equal to 0 is a circle, yes, C is the center of the circle, and here AB is the cord, AB is the cord, the line of any two points on the circle is called cord. Now, I am going to find this. What is that length of chord AB? What is the length of AB? Very important concept in IP point of view and objective point of view. Okay. Yes. Come on. Let us see here. So, from the point C, I mean center of the circle. So, what do you say? This line is the CP is the perpendicular distance. It is D. Let us take CP is the perpendicular distance. Right. And we know one concept. If any line passing through the center of the circle, which is the perpendicular bisector of the chord am i right or not which is the perpendicular bisector okay now come on joining this one so to this also okay no problem what do you say the line ca is the radius now you can consider any circle any sorry any triangle so from the triangle cpa so from the triangle cpa okay yes and here it is the r square equals to by using Pythagoras r square equals to which is a cp square plus a p square am I right. So, c p square plus a p square yes yeah, so from this one a p square equals to r square minus c p c p is nothing but d perpendicular distance d square c p square means d square. So, a p is equals to square root of r square minus d square am I right or not a p is equals to this length is a p. Okay, right. But I want the length of AB. What is AB? Now, I am going to write this one. Length of a chord. Length of a chord which is nothing but AB. AB. AB is nothing but 2 times of AP. Right or not? So, AB is nothing but 2 times of AP which is equals to 2 times of root of. Yes, what is AP? Root of R square minus D square. R square minus D square. So, which is your formula? Length of a chord is the 2 root of r square minus d square. In that case, what is r? 
R means radius of the circle and what is D? Important thing is the what is D? D is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line. The distance of the line to that from that the center of a circle. So, like this we will get one equation or I mean length of a chord very very important thing. So, based on that please take the problems practice the problems some different problems based on the length of the chords. Okay, you will be perfect the concepts and from this one I am going to from this concept I am going to prove that uh, the condition for a tangent also already we got this one tangent condition is r is equal to d okay from this formula also I am going to get this one here let us see how it is okay here a b is a chord now the point b is coinciding with a then it becomes a tangent am I right or not so when b is coinciding with a in that case there is no length of chords so that means what is the length of chord? Length of chord becomes uh, 0. So that means in that case uh, r square minus d square is equal to 0, r square is equal to d square then r is equal to d. Like this also I can prove this one. Okay. So a condition for tangent r is equal to d from the formula length of chord also. Okay, not? Yes. So from this uh, I am going to prove that some more conditions. Okay, Come on based on that. Suppose, suppose the circle S is equal to 0, the circle S is equal to 0 intersect the x axis, intersect the x axis at the two points A and B. Now, what is the length of chord AB? Okay. So, indirectly I am asking this is called the x intercept. What do you say? It is called x intercept of the circle s is equal to 0 yes okay based on that i am going to prove same like this okay yes so c is the center of the circle which is minus g and minus f okay not and what is that perpendicular distance can you say this distance is from the point c the distance of the point c to the x axis is so which is modulus of minus f Right at modulus of minus of and anyway this is your radius then what is the length of a b s yes, by the same like this i can say length of a b is equal to 2 into square root of r square what is the radius of a circle basic form which is the g square plus f square minus c right and not r square minus d square d square means perpendicular distance what is perpendicular distance is modulus of minus f okay that value is a squaring which is f square so, which is 2 into square root of f square f square get cancelled which is g square minus c a b what is a b length of chord I mean length of chord of a circle. So, if the circle intersect the x axis indirectly one more thing I am going to say this is the length of x intercept for a circle I can say this one is the length of x intercept is 2 into square root of g square minus c. Okay. Yes, the same like this. I can prove this one. Suppose if the circle is, if the circle is intersect the y-axis, intersect the y-axis at two distinct points. So this is y-axis. Okay. And what is the length of chord? I mean, what is the length of y-intercept indirectly? Okay. So this thing we are going to get PQ is equal to two into square root of f square minus c. Yeah, but from the same formula, I am going to get this one. Center is minus g and minus f, right? And so, what is the perpendicular distance to here? What is the perpendicular distance from the point c on the y-axis is your x-coordinate modulus of minus g. And substituting same in this formula, you can get the g square term get cancelled. f square minus c will come. Okay. Yes. Finally, you got that more two concepts. So from here, so what is this? length of a chord is the 2 square root of r square minus d square okay then what is the length of x intercept what is it is the x intercept and it is y intercept length of x intercept to a circle is 2 square root of g square minus c what is length of y intercept is 2 square root of f square minus c Okay, not very important concepts come on please make a note based on this one we will move to that next concepts so, suppose the circle, suppose the circle S is equal to 0 touches the x axis not intersecting in this case touches the x axis what will happen 
okay yes come on same like this here here length of x intercept is 2 square root of g square minus a okay okay now it is not intersecting in that case so it touches that means length of chord becomes 0 2 square root of g square minus c becomes 0 g square minus c is equal to 0 can you say this condition is g square is equal to c have you got the point now it is touches the x axis not intersecting that means this length of x intercept becomes 0 g square minus c is equal to 0 g square is equal to c similarly if the circle touches the y axis touches the y axis can you say the condition is f square minus c is equal to 0 then f square is equal to c right or not yeah we can prove that by using the tangent concept also yeah let us see how it is here anyway center is minus c minus f am i right or not okay and it is the radius actually am i right or not it is radius radius is actually what is radius root of g square plus f square minus c this is radius but if it is a tangent x axis is a tangent radius is equal to perpendicular distance can you say the perpendicular distance from the center to the next axis is your y coordinate which is minus f modulus of minus f both sides are squaring and f square get cancelled what do you say you will get g square minus c is equal to 0 then g square is equal to c same like this we will get this one if it intersect the y axis i mean touches the y axis center is minus g minus f and its perpendicular distance is modulus of minus g okay so modulus of minus g is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c radius is equal to perpendicular distance why because y axis is a tangent both sides g square term get cancelled f square minus c is equal to 0 f square is equal to c and one more thing is the suppose if the circle touches both the coordinate axis both the coordinate axis x axis and y axis what do you say that condition is the g square is equal to c and f square is equal to c finally what can you say g square is equal to f square is equal to c okay next so very important conditions so come on so in the objective point of view this concept is particularly very 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 important okay students come on make a note okay students so that is about that today class so be ready for the next upcoming video that is very important thing angle between that uh, two tangents how many tangents we can draw from an exterior point so like that's very important concepts in the ip and objective point of view okay so be ready for the next uh, video so until then bye bye